Well, good evening and welcome to episode two. Join me here in my garage. Got the old Corsa. Now, I've had quite a few questions about the S13, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to answer them. Mainly about the history and, you know, how I found it more than anything. Uh, well, I'm a delivery driver and it just happened that I spotted it out the corner of my eye, sat in the back of a barn. Um, I spoke to the owner, got his number, he was interested in selling it, but at the time for me, it wasn't right. This is about three years ago, at least. Um, now, you know, it's been a niggling thought in the back of my head ever since. Uh, but E36s, Aspras, uh, and Miss Corsa, now, I bought this, I wanted a little project, I never should have bought it. Should have just got the S13. Now, uh, rung him, dickhead. You're gonna have to come and say hi now. Hi, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is my lovely <laughs> other half who was told not to come into a garage because I was recording. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, now she's going to have to go out and put the course back together and stuff. I'm not doing that. Yeah. Right, as I was saying, now she's gone. Uh, yeah, bought the Corsa. I was going to put a red top in it, which is uh, sat down here on the engine stand. Then, uh, you know, started working out, you know, the rough cost of everything because I wanted to do it properly. And it was going to cost too much to do. You know, just to do it right so everything was done and I could get in, turn the key, go out and have some fun. Now, a few weeks back, as I say, I rung, I rung him again. Uh, spoke to the owner of the S13. Said, look, are you still interested in selling it? Yeah. Can I come and have a look? Yeah, not a problem. So we went and had a look and, uh, you know, had a proper good look around it. Found quite a bit of rust. Some of it could be surface, we don't know yet until we get stuck in. Uh, but for sure it's going to need a couple of sills on it at least. But for the price he was asking, you know, it made sense. Nice little project. He, he knows it was worth a bit more. Um, but as he said to me, it's good to get your project cheaper to begin with. You know then it's going to be better off financially in the end. Now, uh, the S13 itself, it was actually his mother's from 18 months. of, um, And when she passed away in 2003, she left it to him. Uh, and he was driving it around the yard every year for the first few years and then parked it up and forgot about it, left it in the barn. Uh, and then I come along, you know, he, he had someone else look at it and they'd not got back to him. That was a good few years ago, well, probably about six years ago. Uh, and then she just sat there again. And then I think I must have just reminded him that it was sat there. Because when I went to look at it, it was a couple of weeks after I'd rung him. You know, we've all, all got things to do, we're all busy. Uh, he'd been trying to get it to start. It'd be, he'd put a set of plugs in it and it kept popping the fuel pump fuse which as you've seen in the last episode the fuel pump it's rotten so I've hopefully found a full tank in decent condition with all the sender unit and fuel pump so that will uh, sort that now on to the Corsa <sighs> Couple of weeks ago, me and one of my good mates got the engine back in. It was coming up for sale very, very soon. Tonight I'm going to be uh, cracking on with getting it back together. Tonight's Tuesday, and I plan to have the S13 in here Saturday. Uh, this needs to be out. Take it for an MOT and get it up for sale. Now, it, I can tell you now, it will fly straight through. This thing is insanely clean. The easiest to see in this light, but I've never seen one like it. It's only done 58,000 as well. A couple of owners, 
Yeah, be a nice little project for somebody, but not for me. Alright, well, I'm going to uh, bang some time lapse on and uh, crack on. Speak to you again soon. managed to finish work early again it's quite nice tonight we're gonna get the courser out and uh, get all the panels banged back on pretty much ready it's booked in for MLT next Wednesday so let's get it bloody gone uh, now seeing the S13 in daylight for the first time since the wash showing up with the paint really not as na nice as we thought it was, you know, still wet when I took the pictures and my videos but this happens not too bothered because it'll probably end up getting re-sprayed yeah just another couple of days left and I'm gonna make a start on it so let's get this bloody thing out He's joined us tonight. Hello. My best friend of many, many, many years. He's uh, not all too knowledgeable with cars yet, are you? No, not a fucking clue. He helped me strip the red top for the Corsa. You know, he's learning slowly. We'll get him there. But, I am slow, yes. Yeah, we know you're slow. But yeah, he'll be on my channel a lot. So yeah, stay tuned. Plenty more of Pikey to come, unfortunately. <laughs> That's what she's Has finally joined us. He's only about seven hours late. Uh, <laughs> it's about seven, mate. You said you'd be here this morning. It's now gone oh, no. what, half two. Oh, no. Not a... uh, so today we're going to move her uh, straight onto a drive so we can get it jacked up and crack on taking things off, finding all the rot, poking some holes, hmm. more holes. Yeah. We'll uh, hit the time lapse and get cracking, shall we? Since, you know, we're now on less time than we actually had. Ted. No messing. Yeah. All right, peace out, folks. Cracking on, bit of progress. Also found this. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't want to say that in word. 
sound like a juice box. Oh, lovely. A bit crusty in places. Looking ever so sad for herself. Poor thing. Front cross member is shot. Absolutely. Very, uh, very crusty up here. But it's not too much of a problem because we're going to have to be tubbed anyway. For Mablozio. Plenty of snap bolts as well. As expected. How are you feeling so far, Ted? On my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Going... <laughs> anyway, let's carry on. Oh, actually, a little something that's never seen my channel and it's absolutely filthy, but yeah. it's got to go in, hasn't it, Ted? Aye. Ted, cheek, little Nova. I feel it's looking a bit sorry for itself. I think it's going to be, uh, it's next in line definitely, isn't it? Yeah. Later in the year. Showing its age. Don't run your cars through winter, folks. Get yourself some modern shite instead. Oh, that bush is sharp. For those that don't know, it is the first UK Nova with four-way air ride on, isn't it? 100% confirmed. Yeah. yeah, so usually it sits a lot lower than this, but he's running it at spec right now. Dirty yobbo. Don't forget, contact us for your retrospect stickers, folks. Yeah. Plenty of retro goodness going on today. And the pile of parts so far. Hello. Let's get cracking. So we're here in the interior, stripping it out. Found a few uh, cheeky pennies, so I've got it for cheaper than I thought. But found some broken glass. Now to us as well. The seat on this side is nice and rotten, so I would say it's had a window in at some point, possibly in the barn. Has that one got the reg mark on it? That side. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, it's had a, a window on that side. Yeah. A little bit of history then. The fuck you found there? Hey, you put some, uh, put your sunglasses in there. I think. Mm -hmm. Smart. Oh yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Let's carry on then, shall we? Hi, I'm Neil Sheehan. <laughs> so yeah I don't know if anyone's a juice box for you fan but me and Ted are massive juice box for you fans now it was on about how his A86 that he's also restoring right now has got them real good pockets lad and uh, I don't think your pockets are as good as mine sorry mate might have filled with five peas. <laughs> I just got this car real cheap. <sighs> she got some good pockets, lad. <laughs> so, as you're about to see from the absolute shit all of the drive, we've been busy. I got a lot done. <laughs> Yeah, so all front panels apart from the bonnet are off because I ain't got anywhere to store the bonnet at the minute. Also done some digging. This silly's not great. Look at that, it'll be fine. 
weld early on it. Only been on it a couple of hours, haven't we? Mm -hmm. And the pile of parts. Um, yeah. Let's find somewhere for them. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to go and tidy the loft. <laughs> oh well. It's all good fun. Yeah, many progress. Food time. Food time. Subway, meatball marinara. You know where it's at. Many beers. Yes. <laughs> Good night, folks. We're going to go tidy up and get a subway. Yes. Oh, I almost forgot. Almost. So I've now got it. So that's 35, 6, 7. Yeah. 38p in it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. So 38p cheaper than the original sale price. <laughs> that's how we roll. Bargain. Yeah, man. Right. Good night, folks. <laughs>